Puget Sound is absolutely amazing. The biodiversity is just spectacular. There's every kind of animal, big and small. Every single drop is just brimming with life. What qualifies a citizen scientist is their curiosity and their interest in the natural world. They don't necessarily have a PhD in the subject matter they're interested in, but isn't that how great things were discovered? By people's curiosity and people's interest? texted me because there were a whole bunch of sea stars that washed up on the beach and it was unusual, more than any of us had ever seen. We realized that it was part of what they're calling sea star wasting syndrome. I immediately went out and decided I need to go see what's going on underwater. I'll never forget it. It was like a war zone. There were bodies laying around everywhere. There were starfish arms laying on the bottom sediment. There were sea stars falling off of pilings. They were hanging on by their two feet, waving in the current. You'll see their, their limbs, they start kind of twisting and, and contorting, like they're losing control of their body. And then their arms will just kind of start falling off from the weight of their body. Stars have been dying up and down the West Coast from all the way down to Mexico, all the way up to Alaska. The scale of this is beyond anything I've ever even imagined. We're already seeing changes. We're seeing a shift in our biodiversity. We're seeing areas where animals are starting to show up that we haven't seen there in many, many years. I have an area that we've uh, measured off and I take my camera out and I video the same path every week to try to see not only the death of the starfish, because they're all gone now. What I'm looking for now is baby stars and seeing how the population recovers, if it recovers. My concern is that are we seeing the Puget Sound get sick? It could be an indicator of a bigger problem. I'm asking people to go out and record what they see and to report back to our little web page, which is um, using social media and Instagram and hashtagging to say we saw a starfish and we used hashtag six starfish and it'll automatically show up on a map. What we can do is use our observations to essentially wave a red flag so that the scientists then know where to go look the citizen science, in this case, has really helped track the spread of the sea star wasting disease. On recent dives, I've been getting out, and in areas where the sea stars were all gone, I'm actually seeing babies, and that's really exciting. And if they grow up, we have hope. I guess I always wanted to make a difference in the world. This is my way of making a difference.